45 minutes, my phone went dead, videoing people giving their hearts to him. I thought I'd have to go outside the U.S. on a mission trip to see what I just witnessed in this pool behind me. If we would just be faithful, if we would just be faithful to what he has for us to do right here in our own backyard, he wants to do it here as bad as he wants to do it across the ocean. My name is Brooklyn Hill. I live here in Columbia, Missouri. And before the Grace Tour came um, in 2015, I um, had grew up in a church home, um, but didn't really um, abide by that stuff. Um, I was in the streets, um, sleeping around, doing drugs, drinking, uh, and in a, involved in many criminal activities. Since the Grace Tours come, uh, I've came a long way, and especially in these past two, three months, um, where I have no longer been drinking, drugs has been out of my system, and I'm just on a path for God, and I'm involved in two churches, uh, about to make it three. What I like about the Grace Tour is how real they are. Um, it's not just like, hey, this is what the Word says. It's like, you know, I've been in the streets too, or hey, yeah, I did have my time where I slept around, or, you know, had my own personal issues. And I like how they, like, tell you just kind of, they're just kind of blunt with it, that yes, it's not going to be easy, but it's a great change. It's about, it's got to be about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. And to be honest, been drinking all day. My lady got locked up, my best friend, my wife, my Mercedes, my everything, my future. And now we're down here, don't know what to do. I'm from Florida, came here to Virginia Beach, and now the struggle's real. We're sitting here wondering what we're going to do next. With the last couple dollars in our pocket, we're about to go to the 7-Eleven and buy a beer with. But instead, something came upon me and said, yo, no. All of a sudden, out of the middle of nowhere, the grace, the grace of our Father comes through, just steps out, hands us pizza and not a brew, orange soda. That's what we needed. It was on point. Father God is amazing. Even when, even when all this is going through, man, he's in touch with you. Today when I came in here, it affected me because I know what he said was true. Um, you've got to fully surrender, you know, because this isn't, this isn't the end unless you want it to be. I know because I've been an addict since I was 13, abused, raped, beaten, abused in every way you can think and tried to kill myself because I just didn't want to be here. I never thought my life could be like this. God has opened so many doors. So many. Um, life is good. I've been a little lost in my life. Uh, been through, you know, rough times, tribulations growing up not doing, making the right decisions. I uh, grew up with a Catholic uh, background, but just never got fulfilled or, you know, I didn't get what I needed from that church. And uh, I got invited here. This is my first time here today at this church. And uh, I'm blessed to be here. Um, heard some sermon, you know, sermon talking, Jeremy, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of what he had to say touched me. And when he asked to step up, I was scared. I don't know why I was scared, but I was, I was terrified be honest with you, I was sweating. But I just knew I'd been praying for this and uh, I had to stand up and make a decision. And I did, and I, I'm, I'm so blessed and so happy I did because I, I got baptized today and it feels great.